Welcome to the National Weather Service Atlanta's weekly weather briefing for June 9th, 2022. This is meteorologist Ansley Long. Just to walk through a few highlights for this week's forecast, a cold front today will bring some seasonable temperatures where a few showers and thunderstorms could develop as that front passes through the area today. However, tomorrow high pressure will briefly return before giving way to an upper level trough where some weak disturbances will bring a chance of precipitation over the weekend. By next week, an upper level ridge will develop and will result in a warming trend where warm apparent temperatures could approach critical thresholds for a heat advisory. Taking a look at current conditions, we have the visible satellite overlaid with some radar data showing showers diminishing across northeast Georgia, as well as a nice little cluster of showers and thunderstorms across the southwestern portion of the state. However, today conditions should generally improve. However, we do have a cold front that will be pushing through the area where some isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible. However, widespread severe weather is not anticipated at this time. So taking a quick look at the weather pattern for today and tomorrow, this cold front will be moving through North Georgia this afternoon and evening, where the chance of precipitation again will be primarily confined across portions of Southern and Central Georgia. Tonight, overnight, that front continues to sag southward, um, again bringing the chance of precipitation to Central and Southern Georgia. However, by tomorrow, the front essentially stalls out over South Georgia and allows some high pressure to briefly build in, bringing us some dry conditions before another low pressure um, develops over uh, the Southeast where a chance of precipitation tomorrow afternoon will return. Taking a quick look at the SPC outlooks for days one through three. Day one has portions of North and Central Georgia in a general thunderstorm risk, while day two primarily confines that general thunderstorm risk across portions of North Georgia and Western Georgia, while day three has the entire forecast area encompassed in a general thunderstorm risk. So while the risk for severe weather is low, there is still a chance for some isolated thunderstorms, and some of these thunderstorms could produce some hazardous conditions, such as gusty winds, locally heavy rainfall, and frequent lightning. Taking a look at the chances for precipitation through the weekend, today's best chance of precipitation will be confined to an area along and south of I-20. And while that cold front moves through the area today, those chances of precipitation will be pushed off more to the south. Tomorrow, while most of the beginning portion of Friday will be relatively dry, our chances of precipitation start to increase, especially across portions of north and western Georgia. And by tomorrow night, more widespread chances of precipitation will occur. By Saturday, a weak disturbance will be impacting the area, bringing again more widespread chances of precipitation, especially across central Georgia. And by Sunday morning, some of those chances of precipitation should be diminishing. Luckily by Sunday, that will continue and most of north and central Georgia should remain quite dry. Again, while the risk for severe weather is low, some thunderstorms that develop could produce some hazardous conditions such as gusty winds, locally heavy rainfall, and frequent lightning. So taking a look at drought conditions across portions of central Georgia, there are some abnormally dry to D1 to D2 drought conditions. And taking a look at days one through seven QPF, the range in these areas is anywhere between 0.25 to 1.25 inches. And so hopefully over the next several days, we will get some alleviating rainfall to help improve some of the drought conditions across this portion of Georgia. 
Luckily, the tropics remain quiet at this time. However, it is hurricane season and we will continue to monitor the tropics um, for any tropical storm development. Perhaps the biggest story this week is the warming trends where some of the max apparent temperatures could approach heat advisory criteria. So just cycling through the high temperatures through this weekend, uh, we'll have some seasonal temperatures in the 80s and 90s um, through Sunday. However, uh, by Sunday, we really start to kick off a warming trend where our temperatures will rise into the mid to upper 90s across a large portion of the forecast area. By Tuesday, we'll see the upper 90s, and by Wednesday, we will continue to see that. And the apparent temperatures, if you have a look here on Wednesday, they start to approach the 105 degree Fahrenheit mark, which is our threshold for a heat advisory. So we will continue to monitor this and uh, we will um, issue any heat related products as needed um, given the current forecast temperature trends. Some ways to protect yourself from the heat when outdoors is to drink plenty of water. Staying hydrated is really important as well as applying sunscreen regularly and wearing light colored and lightweight clothing. It's also important to take breaks in the shade or indoors when possible. To summarize the weekly weather briefing, isolated showers and thunderstorms will be possible primarily over the weekend where seasonable temperatures are anticipated. Luckily, no threat of widespread severe activity is anticipated at this time. By the start of the week, ridging will build in and kick off a warming trend where warm apparent temperatures could approach critical thresholds for a heat advisory. Thank you for attending the weekly weather briefing. Feel free to connect with us via phone or any of our social media channels, and we look forward to hearing from you. Have a great week.